India is part of the continent of Asia. Most of India forms a peninsula, which means it is surrounded by water on three sides. India is part of the continent of Asia. Most of India forms a peninsula, which means it is surrounded by water on three sides. The world's highest mountain range, the Himalaya, rises in the north. The southeast is bordered by the Bay of Bengal, and the southwest is bordered by the Arabian Sea. India's terrain varies widely, from the Dhar Desert in the west to jungles in the northeast. A fertile area called the Ganges Plain covers much of northern India. This formation was created from soil that was deposited by rivers running from the Himalaya. In some places, this layer of silt is over 25,000 feet, 7,620 meters, deep. India is country that occupies the greater part of South Asia. It is made up of 28 states and 8 union territories, and its national capital is New Delhi, built in the 20th century just south of the historic hub of Old Delhi to serve as India's administrative center. Its government is a constitutional republic that represents a highly diverse population consisting of thousands of ethnic groups and hundreds of languages. India became the world's most populous country in 2023, according to estimates by the United Nations. It is known from archaeological evidence that a highly sophisticated urbanized culture the Indus civilization dominated the northwestern part of the subcontinent from about 2600 to 2000 BCE. From that period on, India functioned as a virtually self-contained political and cultural arena, which gave rise to a distinctive tradition that was associated primarily with Hinduism, the roots of which possibly can be traced to the Indus civilization. Other religions, notably Buddhism and Jainism, originated in India though their presence there is now quite small and throughout the centuries residents of the subcontinent developed a rich intellectual life in such fields as mathematics, astronomy, architecture, literature, music, and the fine arts. Throughout its history, India was intermittently disturbed by incursions from beyond its northern mountain wall. Especially important was the coming of Islam, brought from the northwest by Arab, Turkish, Persian, and other raiders beginning early in the 8th century CE. Eventually, some of those raiders stayed, by the 13th century much of the subcontinent was under Muslim rule, and the number of Muslims steadily increased. Only after the arrival of the Portuguese navigator Vasco da Gama in 1498 and the subsequent establishment of European maritime supremacy in the region did India become exposed to major external influences arriving by sea, a process that culminated in the decline of the ruling Muslim elite and absorption of the subcontinent within the British Empire. Direct administration by the British, which began in 1858, effected a political and economic unification of the subcontinent. When British rule came to an end on August 14 to 15, 1947, celebrated annually as Independence Day, the subcontinent was partitioned along religious lines into two separate countries India, with a majority of Hindus, and Pakistan, with a majority of Muslims, the eastern portion of Pakistan later split off to form Bangladesh. Many British institutions stayed in place, such as the parliamentary system of government, English continued to be a widely used lingua franca, and India remained within the Commonwealth. Hindi became the official language, and a number of other local languages achieved official status, while a vibrant English language intelligentsia thrived. India remains one of the most ethnically diverse countries in the world. Apart from its many religions and sects, India is home to innumerable castes and tribes, as well as to more than a dozen major and hundreds of minor linguistic groups from several language families unrelated to one another. Religious minorities, including Muslims, Christians, Sikhs, Buddhists, and Jains, still account for a significant proportion of the population. Earnest attempts have been made to instill a spirit of nationhood in so varied a population, but tensions between neighboring groups have remained and at times have resulted in outbreaks of violence. Yet social legislation has done much to alleviate the disabilities previously suffered by formerly untouchable castes, tribal populations, women, and other traditionally disadvantaged segments of society. At independence, India was blessed with several leaders of world stature, most notably Mohandas Karamchand, Mahatma, 
Gandhi and Jawaharlal Nehru, who were able to galvanize the masses at home and bring prestige to India abroad. The country has played an increasing role in global affairs. Contemporary India's increasing physical prosperity and cultural dynamism despite continued domestic challenges and economic inequality are seen in its well-developed infrastructure and a highly diversified industrial base, in its pool of scientific and engineering personnel, one of the largest in the world, in the pace of its agricultural expansion, and in its rich and vibrant cultural exports of music, literature, and cinema. Though the country's population remains largely rural, India has three of the most populous and cosmopolitan cities in the world Mumbai, Bombay, Kolkata, Calcutta, and Delhi. Three other Indian cities Bengaluru, Bangalore, Chennai, Madras, and Hyderabad are among the world's fastest growing high technology centers, and most of the world's major information technology and software companies now have offices in India. India's frontier, which is roughly one third coastline, abuts six countries. It is bounded to the northwest by Pakistan, to the north by Nepal, China, and Bhutan, and to the east by Myanmar, Burma. Bangladesh to the east is surrounded by India to the north, east, and west. The island country of Sri Lanka is situated some 40 miles, 65 kilometers, off the southeast coast of India across the Pak Strait and Gulf of Manor. The land of India together with Bangladesh and most of Pakistan forms a well-defined subcontinent, set off from the rest of Asia by the imposing northern mountain rampart of the Himalayas and by adjoining mountain ranges to the west and east. In area, India ranks as the seventh largest country in the world. Much of India's territory lies within a large peninsula, surrounded by the Arabian Sea to the west and the Bay of Bengal to the east, Cape Comorin, Kani Yakumari, the southernmost point of the Indian mainland, marks the dividing line between those two bodies of water. India has two union territories composed entirely of islands, Lakshadweep, in the Arabian Sea, and the Andaman and Nicobar Islands, which lie between the Bay of Bengal and the Andaman Sea. Society throughout India is divided into social ranks, called castes. Caste is determined by birth and there is almost no way to change it. High castes include priests, landowners, and soldiers. So-called untouchables have no caste and do the most menial jobs. India is a very spiritual country. It has no official religion, but more than 80% of Indians are Hindu. About 13% are Muslim. Other religions include Buddhism, Sikhism, and Jainism, which all began in India. For thousands of years, since the Hindu religion first evolved, respect for animal life has been an important part of Indians' beliefs. Cows in particular are sacred and cannot be harmed. They are even allowed to wander through city streets, which often causes traffic jams. India's varied climate zones support about 65,000 animal species, including elephants, pythons, river dolphins, and rhinos, and 12,000 types of flowering plants. It is the only country in the world with both lions and tigers. It's also a bird watcher's paradise. On the coast of the Bay of Bengal is the Sundarbans, the world's largest mangrove forest. Here, tigers swim in the same rivers as dolphins, sea turtles, sharks, and saltwater crocodiles. This unique landscape is constantly under threat as sea levels rise and humans hunt illegally and clear trees for firewood. The Himalaya mountains provide a home for some of India's rarest animals and plants. The most elusive animal is the snow leopard. Bears and black buck live lower down, and in the northeast, the tiger and one-horned rhinoceros can be found. India's parliamentary government was inherited from the British. After independence in 1947, one party, the Congress Party, and one family, the Nehru family, dominated politics in India for decades. Now, however, many parties compete for elected positions. India's economy is growing so fast that experts predict it will soon become one of the world's leading markets. Indians are hard workers. And though many are poorly educated, there are many others who are highly trained college graduates. India is a country in South Asia. It is the seventh largest country by area, 
the most populous country as of June 2023, and from the time of its independence in 1947, the world's most populous democracy. Bounded by the Indian Ocean on the south, the Arabian Sea on the southwest, and the Bay of Bengal on the southeast, it shares land borders with Pakistan to the west, Jay China, Nepal, and Bhutan to the north, and Bangladesh and Myanmar to the east. In the Indian Ocean, India is in the vicinity of Sri Lanka and the Maldives, its Andaman and Nicobar Islands share a maritime border with Thailand, Myanmar, and Indonesia. Modern humans arrived on the Indian subcontinent from Africa no later than 55,000 years ago. Their long occupation, initially in varying forms of isolation as hunter-gatherers, has made the region highly diverse, second only to Africa in human genetic diversity. Settled life emerged on the subcontinent in the western margins of the Indus River Basin 9,000 years ago, evolving gradually into the Indus Valley civilization of the 3rd millennium BCE. By 1200 BCE, an archaic form of Sanskrit, an Indo-European language, had diffused into India from the northwest. Its evidence today is found in the hymns of the Rigveda. Preserved by an oral tradition that was resolutely vigilant, the Rigveda records the dawning of Hinduism in India. The Dravidian languages of India were supplanted in the northern and western regions. By 400 BCE, stratification and exclusion by caste had emerged within Hinduism, and Buddhism and Jainism had arisen, proclaiming social orders unlinked to heredity. Early political consolidations gave rise to the loose knit Maurya and Gupta empires based in the Ganges Basin. Their collective era was suffused with wide ranging creativity, but also marked by the declining status of women, and the incorporation of untouchability into an organized system of belief. In South India, the Middle Kingdoms exported Dravidian languages scripts and religious cultures to the kingdoms of Southeast Asia. In the early medieval era, Christianity, Islam, Judaism, and Zoroastrianism became established on India's southern and western coasts. Muslim armies from Central Asia intermittently overran India's northern plains, eventually founding the Delhi Sultanate, and drawing northern India into the cosmopolitan networks of medieval Islam. In the 15th century, the Vijayanagara Empire created a long-lasting composite Hindu culture in South India. In the Punjab, Sikhism emerged, rejecting institutionalist religion. The Mughal Empire, in 1526, ushered in two centuries of relative peace, leaving a legacy of luminous architecture. Gradually expanding rule of the British East India Company followed, turning India into a colonial economy, but also consolidating its sovereignty. British Crown rule began in 1858. The rights promised to Indians were granted slowly, but technological changes were introduced, and modern ideas of education and the public life took root. A pioneering and influential nationalist movement emerged, which was noted for nonviolent resistance and became the major factor in ending British rule. In 1947 the British Indian Empire was partitioned into two independent dominions, a Hindu-majority dominion of India and a Muslim-majority dominion of Pakistan, amid large-scale loss of life and an unprecedented migration. India has been a federal republic since 1950, governed through a democratic parliamentary system. It is a pluralistic, multilingual, and multi-ethnic society. India's population grew from 361 million in 1951 to almost 1.4 billion in 2022. During the same time, its nominal per capita income increased from 64 US dollars annually to 2601 US dollars, and its literacy rate from 16.6% to 74%. From being a comparatively destitute country in 1951, India has become a fast-growing major economy and a hub for information technology services, with an expanding middle class. India has a space program with several planned or completed extraterrestrial missions. Indian movies, music, and spiritual teachings play an increasing role in global culture. India has substantially reduced its rate of poverty, though at the cost of increasing economic inequality. India is a nuclear weapon state, which ranks high in military expenditure. It has disputes over Kashmir with its neighbors, Pakistan and China, unresolved since the mid-20th century. 
Among the socio-economic challenges India faces are gender inequality, child malnutrition, and rising levels of air pollution. India's land is megadiverse, with four biodiversity hotspots. Its forest cover comprises 21.7% of its area. India's wildlife, which has traditionally been viewed with tolerance in India's culture, is supported among these forests, and elsewhere, in protected habitats. India is a federal union comprising 28 states and 8 union territories. All states, as well as the union territories of Jammu and Kashmir, Puducherry, and the national capital territory of Delhi, have elected legislatures and governments following the Westminster system of governance. The remaining five union territories are directly ruled by the central government through appointed administrators. In 1956, under the States Reorganization Act, states were reorganized on a linguistic basis. There are over a quarter of a million local government bodies at city, town, block, district and village levels. 28 states. Andhra Pradesh, Arunachal Pradesh, Assam, Bihar, Chhattisgarh, Goa, Gujarat, Haryana, Himachal Pradesh, Jharkhand, Karnataka, Kerala, Madhya Pradesh, Maharashtra, Manipur, Meghalaya, Mizoram, Nagaland, Odisha, Punjab, Rajasthan, Sikkim, Tamil Nadu, Telangana, Tripura, Uttar Pradesh, Uttarakhand, West Bengal. Union Territories Andaman and Nicobar Islands, Chandigarh, Dadra and Nagar Havli and Daman and Diu, Jammu and Kashmir, Ladakh, Lakshadweep, National Capital Territory of Delhi, Puducherry. India's telecommunication industry is the second largest in the world with over 1.2 billion subscribers. The Indian automotive industry, the world's second fastest growing, increased domestic sales by 26% during 2009-2010, and exports by 36% during 2008-2009. In 2022, India became the world's third largest vehicle market after China and the United States, surpassing Japan. At the end of 2011, the Indian IT industry employed 2.8 million professionals, generated revenues close to 100 billion US dollars equaling 7.5% of Indian GDP, and contributed 26% of India's merchandise exports. The pharmaceutical industry in India emerged as a global player. Despite economic growth during recent decades, India continues to face socio-economic challenges. In 2006, India contained the largest number of people living below the World Bank's international poverty line of 1 US dollar and 25 cents per day. With 1,210,193,422 residents reported in the 2011 Provisional Census Report, and an estimated 1,428,627,663 residents in 2023 according to the United Nations World Population Prospects, India is the world's most populous country. Its population grew by 17.64% from 2001 to 2011, compared to 21.54% growth in the previous decade, 1991 to 2001. The human sex ratio, according to the 2011 census, is 940 females per 1,000 males. The median age was 28.7 as of 2020. The first post-colonial census, conducted in 1951, counted 361 million people. Medical advances made in the last 50 years as well as increased agricultural productivity brought about by the Green Revolution have caused India's population to grow rapidly. The life expectancy in India is at 70 years 71.5 years for women, 68.7 years for men. There are around 93 physicians per 100,000 people. Migration from rural to urban areas has been an important dynamic in India's recent history. The number of people living in urban areas grew by 31.2% between 1991 and 2001. Yet, in 2001, over 70% still lived in rural areas. 
the level of urbanization increased further from 27.81% in the 2001 census to 31.16% in the 2011 census. The slowing down of the overall population growth rate was due to the sharp decline in the growth rate in rural areas since 1991. According to the 2011 census, there are 53 million plus urban agglomerations in India, among them Mumbai, Delhi, Kolkata, Chennai, Bangalore, Hyderabad, and Ahmedabad, in decreasing order by population. The literacy rate in 2011 was 74.04%. 65.46% among females and 82.14% among males. The rural urban literacy gap, which was 21.2 percentage points in 2001, dropped to 16.1 percentage points in 2011. The improvement in the rural literacy rate is twice that of urban areas. Kerala is the most literate state with 93.91% literacy, while Bihar the least with 63.82%. Among speakers of the Indian languages, 74% speak Indo-Aryan languages, the easternmost branch of the Indo-European languages, 24% speak Dravidian languages, indigenous to South Asia and spoken widely before the spread of Indo-Aryan languages and 2% speak Austro-Asiatic languages or the Sino-Tibetan languages. India has no national language. Hindi, with the largest number of speakers, is the official language of the government. English is used extensively in business and administration and has the status of a subsidiary official language, it is important in education, especially as a medium of higher education. Each state and union territory has one or more official languages, and the constitution recognizes in particular 22 scheduled languages. The 2011 census reported the religion in India with the largest number of followers was Hinduism, 79.8% of the population, followed by Islam, 14.23%, the remaining were Christianity, 2.3%, Sikhism, 1.72%, Buddhism, 0.7%, Jainism, 0.36%, and others, 0.9%. India has the third largest Muslim population the largest for a non-Muslim majority country. India is notable for its religious diversity, with Hinduism, Buddhism, Sikhism, Islam, Christianity, and Jainism among the nation's major religions. The education system of India is the world's second largest. India has over 900 universities, 40,000 colleges, and 1.5 million schools. In India's higher education system, a significant number of seats are reserved under affirmative action policies for the historically disadvantaged. In recent decades India's improved education system is often cited as one of the main contributors to its economic development. Several traditional indigenous sports such as Kabaddi, Koko, Palewani and Jilai Danda, and also martial arts such as Kalarapayado and Marma Adi, remain popular. Chess is commonly held to have originated in India as Chaturaga. In recent years, there has been a rise in the number of Indian grandmasters. Visvanathan Anand became the chess world champion in 2007 and held the status until 2013. He also won the Chess World Cup in 2000 and 2002. In 2023, R. Pragnanand have finished as runners up in the tournament. Parchisi is derived from Pachisi another traditional Indian pastime, which in early modern times was played on a giant marble court by Mughal Emperor Akbar the Great. Cricket is the most popular sport in India. Major domestic leagues include the Indian Premier League, with the inaugural edition taking place in 2008. Professional leagues in other sports include the Indian Super League, football, and the Pro Kabaddi League. India has won two Cricket World Cups, the 1983 edition and the 2011 edition, as well as becoming the inaugural T20 World Cup champions in 2007. India has also won the Champions Trophy twice, in 2002 and 2013. The only edition of the World Championship of Cricket was won by India in 1985. India also has eight field hockey gold medals in the Summer Olympics.
the improved results garnered by the Indian Davis Cup team and other tennis players in the early 2010s have made tennis increasingly popular in the country. India has a comparatively strong presence in shooting sports, and has won several medals at the Olympics, the World Shooting Championships, and the Commonwealth Games. Other sports in which Indians have succeeded internationally include badminton, Saina Nehval and PV Sindhu are two of the top ranked female badminton players in the world, boxing and wrestling. Football is popular in West Bengal, Goa, Tamil Nadu, Kerala, and the northeastern states. India has traditionally been the dominant country at the South Asian Games. An example of this dominance is the basketball competition where the Indian team won four out of five tournaments to date. India has hosted or co hosted several international sporting events the 1951 and 1982 Asian Games, the 1987, 1996, 2011 and 2023 ICC Men's Cricket World Cup tournaments, and is also scheduled to host it in 2031, the 1978, 1997 and 2013 ICC Women's Cricket World Cup tournaments, and is also scheduled to host it in 2025, the 1987, 1985, and 2016 South Asian Games, the 1990-91 Men's Asia Cup, the 2002 Chess World Cup, the 2003 Afro-Asian Games, the 2006 ICC Cricket Champions Trophy, and is also scheduled to host it in 2029, the 2006 Women's Asia Cup, the 2009 World Badminton Championships, the 2010 Hockey World Cup, the 2010 Commonwealth Games, the 2016 ICC Men's Cricket T20 World Cup, and is also scheduled to host it in 2026, the 2016 ICC Women's Cricket T20 World Cup and the 2017 FIFA U17 World Cup. Major international sporting events held annually in India include the Maharashtra Open, the Mumbai Marathon, the Delhi Half Marathon, and the Indian Masters. The first Formula One Indian Grand Prix featured in late 2011 but has been discontinued from the F1 season calendar since 2014. Thank you for watching this video.